and gentlemen, welcome to Anime Los Angeles 2019 to the Old Timey Radio Panel. Woo! Our first adventure tonight is a script from 1946, The Adventures of Superman. Woo! Starring the talents of... Uh, Kyle McCarley as narrator number one and uh, Chief Engineer McCosh. Ezra Weiss as Batman. Yeah! Chris Sturgliafera as Barry White, editor Daily Planet, and Dick Robin. <laughs> Christopher Wickham as Clark Kent and <laughs> Superman. And Skip Stelrecht as Narrator 2. Excellent! Are you all ready? Remember, feel free to cheer, boo, heckle, do your taxes, whatever you like. You're a part of the show as well. It's live theater! <laughs> Sound ready? Almost. We're just accommodating for one of our assistants over here. Of course, of course, please. Okay. All right. Skip, uh, Victor is going to lead us in, and you have the first line. Okay. Oh, yeah, you be narrator one. <laughs> okay. Who's <laughs> narrator Skip, Skip's narrator one. Skip's I'll be narrator two. Oh, I thought you said you were narrator I one. I did. It doesn't matter. I'm count. not narrator It's live. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you're now narrator one. There we go. Oh, I am. Okay. Oh, am I narrator one? Yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'll do two. Okay. Okay. Got that settled. This is going smooth. Yeah. Yeah. We'll cut that out. Yeah. 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 Music. Yes, Before we start, yeah, this is coming. This is coming. Maestro, start to lead us off. Yes, yes. We're gonna right get on. some intro music. <clears throat> this is going well. So well. Uh, Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap buildings at a single bound. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman! I got you. Yes, it's Superman, strange visitor from a planet Krypton, who came to Earth with amazing physical powers, far beyond those of mortal men. And who disguised as Clark Kent, mid metal mile matter reporter for a great much waffle metropolitan newspaper, wages a never ending battle for truth and justice? Today, Clark Kent, gaily humming Jingle Bells, walks through the Daily Planet City room to Editor Perry White's office. Jingle Bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one more soap and sleigh. Hey. Unaware that the one man in the world who can identify him as Superman is waiting within. A jingle Bells, a jingle all the way. Oh! Beanie? Huh, hi, Mr. Kent. How do you like our Christmas tree? <laughs> oh, it's swell, Beanie, swell. <laughs> Jing <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells. Well, here we are. I wonder what the chief was so anxious to see me about, golly. <laughs> Stopping before Perry White's door, Kent reaches for the doorknob. In a moment, in a matter of seconds, a great secret may be revealed. The zealously guarded secret of his double identity. But first! That's it. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's, that, that was it. Music cues, okay. Yep. <laughs> and now, the adventures of Superman! <laughs> there was a commercial there, we cut it out. <laughs> Convinced that Clark Kent, his mild-mannered reporter, is really Superman in disguise, editor Perry White perfected an elaborate scheme to prove it. <laughs> By a clever ruse, he had lured Superman to a ship suspected of being in peril. Superman <laughs> sensed something afoot and had 
Kent stayed dressed as Clark Kent on board the engineer of the ship, had seen, the, had, had, had seen and spoken to Kent, and had said the name was Mr. Clark. And at this very moment, the engineer is in Perry White's office. And Kent is about to walk into the trap. But as he starts to open the door, a strange yet somehow familiar voice in the office reaches his ears. I never forget a face, Miss Lane. Like my papa used to say, you can't get nowhere in life if you can't tell which cow you've already milked from the rest of the herd. And if this... Quiet, please. Quiet, Mr. McCosh. He'll be here any second. Startled, his hand still on the door, Kent probes the thick panels with x-ray vision, and then gasped. <laughs> probe, 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 probe. <laughs> what? It's the engineer of the Atlantic Queen. Oh, if he sees me, I'm a dead duck. I've got to get out of here and fast. Look, look, Lois. Kent is in his, Kent is in his office. <laughs> He's done in his office, no. Lois. What do you have to say about that? No, he isn't. Well, that's funny, Chief. I'll say it's funny. Hey, a beanie, beanie modern. Coming up, Chief. I mean, Mr. White. Now, listen, beanie. Did you... Uh... How do you all like the way I trimmed our Christmas tree? That there's a tree you could take dancing. Oh, it's just fine, beanie, but... Never mind the Christmas tree. Did you see Clark Kent? Mr. Kent? Sure, he was here just a minute ago. He was? Well, where is he? He went out. Out? I don't know. He wasn't feeling so good all of a sudden. Oh, that reminds me of the time we took on a load of pickled squid in the Far East. Uh, continues his story in the background. Oh, listen, please, do please, you think please, you're please, a bit more please, please, Will you listen? Oh, would you please just pipe yeah. down already? Will you all listen? What do you mean, Kent wasn't feeling so good all of a sudden? Still talking in the he was okay when he came into the city, but just what? before he got to your office, he stopped and then he came hurrying back. Squeamed. Oh, Mr. Run. I know, oh, oh. Oh. Never again, I swear. What, what were we talking about again? I know why he wasn't feeling well. He saw my cosh in my office. What a chump I was. I forgot about his x ray vision. We'll find him. We've got to. You get the cosh and I'll, uh, I'll, uh... Chief, use your head. If Clark is Superman and saw Makash in your office, you'd realize what was up. Why, he was probably in China right now. No, he isn't. There will be a giveaway. He'll be around, waiting for Makash to leave. You got you it. You get Makash and meet me downstairs. Okay, Chief, you got it. I'll get my car. We're going to find out about Mr. Kent. As White and Lois began the pursuit, Clark Kent had arrived with a ha at a handsome mansion facing the park where the famous Batman and his young companion, Robin, lived. Wayne, otherwise known as Batman, is the one person to whom Superman has confessed his double identity. Can he help Superman in his hour of need? This is the worst jam I've ever been in, Bruce. I don't know what to do. Now take it easy, Clark. May not be as bad as you think. What are you kidding? There's I, something? I know, Kent. Robin and I are up against the same danger. <laughs> and yet, you tell me I'm not on a spot. Well, geez, Mr. Kent, or, um, Mr. Man, you could just fly off if someone gets too close. I said it may not be as bad as you <laughs> Oh. You may only imagine that Perry White and the others suspect who you are. I tell you. I know they do, Bruce. What happened? <laughs> well, well, yesterday, White showed me a sealed envelope 
addressed to Superman. To Superman? Yes, we sometimes get them at the planet. Oh. Why'd ask me if I had any idea how to contact Superman? Well, I stalled, of course, but meanwhile I read the letter inside the envelope with my X-ray vision. Mm. I bet that's handy in lots of situations. Shh, <laughs> Dick. Yes, what did it say? <laughs> I'm not sure why I confided in you guys. <laughs> That a, that a time bomb had been planted in the ancient room. Queen, is it hard to breathe in here? <laughs> Which was then at sea on route to Metropolis. Well, naturally, I ducked away from white and hopped out to the Atlantic. Queen is Superman. Well, naturally. At the last moment, though, I got a little suspicious of that letter. It just didn't quite ring true. So I decided to appear on the ship in my street clothes. You know, as if I were one of the passengers. <laughs> you and a bathing suit playing shuffleboard would be something to say. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny to <laughs> see. <laughs> Shove <laughs> <Shuffle. laughs> <Like, laughs> <shuffle. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Knock, knock you off the tenth spot. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What then? Oh, well, I went to the engine room and dug the bomb out from behind a boiler. It was a phony. But you fooled them. You didn't appear on the ship as Superman. Oh, but wait a minute. You didn't run into anyone you knew there. No. Did you? No. Really? No. You mean it? But I did run into the chief engineer. Well, so what? I don't know. So at this moment, he's sitting in Perry White's office at the Daily Planet. What? <laughs> Dollars to donuts. White got in there to identify me and destroy Superman. <laughs> Yes. Wait a minute, this line is labeled mine, but I'm pretty sure it's yours. Holy Robin. understatements, Batman! Yeah. This is bad! I knew it! <laughs> Typos happened in the olden days, too. <laughs> I didn't think you would refer to yourself in first person, Batman. Oh, but I could try it. Let me give it a go. Holy understatements, Batman. <laughs> I think you did a good job. Oh, it couldn't be any worse. No, you can't do that. Oh, it couldn't be any worse. No, you can't do that. Yeah, it's all right. We'll go with it. I don't know. It was a different time. People. Yes, if you run away now, Kent, you'll practically be admitting that you're Superman. You've got to face that engineer. Look him square in the eyes. Move him closely for a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and make him say you're not the same man. But, but, but I am the man. So how? Oh, let me think. Let me think. Rub my head, Robin. Good boy. There must be a way. <sighs> Should I leave? No, it's okay. No, 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 no it's fine. We're, we're used to people watching. Oh, okay. It's all right. We solve crimes. Well, I can't think of any. I told Beanie I was sick just now when I ran out of the city room, but I can't keep that dodge up for long. Because I suck. That's, that's it. Clark. That's what? I've got it! Wait till I get my makeup kit. <laughs> but I... <laughs> Look at the work I've done on my eyes. <laughs> makeup kit? Oh, here it is. Now, how quickly can you get us back to your apartment? Well, we could call an Uber. <laughs> well, in a few seconds as Superman, but what? Strip down to your costume, chum, and don't waste any time asking questions. <laughs> Keep 
me your phone. <laughs> Come on, hurry. But Best not to argue, just start a button. Okay, I want to do whatever you tell me to do. That's it, slower, slower. That's right. Turn In around, go my pants apartment, Bruce Wayne, who is really Batman, is skillfully applying the contents of theatrical makeup box to Kent's face. Look up. That's right. There. You're as pale as a ghost, Clark. Now, I'll just change the shape of your nose a little with this buddy. Hey, careful. That's my schnoz. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got the one. That's it. There. Then, I'll color it bright red. I'm oh. Batman. <laughs> no, it, it won't work, Bruce. <laughs> it really won't. Dick. Work. Wait. Bruce. Hold on. Cuz. Go on. Take those cheers off. Nope. There we have it. Who separated my script? Bruce, are you having a stroke? Easy, Kent. Mm. Mm. You'd be surprised how different you look already. Hey, look! My nose! I've had a lot of practice with this man. Mm. Yeah, but if you change me too much, Harry White will catch on. Cheap is no dope, you know. I'm not changing you too much. I'm just making you look like a guy with a terrific cold. Ha Chew. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, can you make your voice good and hoarse? Huh? Oh, uh, uh like this. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not too good. Uh, <laughs> hmm. uh, well then, a little better. Little better. How's this? <laughs> Getting closer. Maybe a little hoarser. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> it's good enough. It's good enough, Kent. It's good enough. Remember to cough a lot when you speak. That'll help. Good boy. Cough. Oh, I'm afraid of this gag. <laughs> Don't be. You may even like it. <laughs> no. Stop worrying, Kent. It's your only chance. That's right. Rub, rub my head. Rub my head, Dick. That's it. It's your only chance, anyway. There. Your nose is done. Yeah. Feels awful. <laughs> oh, now. Let's see. Well, what do you think? I'm evaluating. <laughs> you still look too much like Kent. Oh, then that's that. We tried our best. Let's just give up. No, 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 no. Wait. I've got an idea. Uh, take off those horn-rimmed glasses. Oh, no. I take them off when I'm Superman. If I take them off now, I'll give myself away. Ha, <laughs> ha. Not with your eyes all bleary and running with tears. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> Go on, take off those cheaters while I find you the uh de onion. The uh, what? Uh, it's a concentrated essence of that handy little vegetable known as. The onion. the onion, that's right. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> here it is. Ooh, that's a ripe one, whoa. Oh, but Bruce, I, I don't know if I'm subject to onion fumes. Uh-oh, I never thought of that. Well, we'll soon find out. I'll open this bottle and... <gasps> oh, no. Open the door, kid. This is Perry White. I know you're in there. This is it, then. Hop into the bedroom and pile onto bed. Clark, do it. Here, 
Here! The bed, you idiot! In the bed! Well, what Sprinkle this onion essence all over your pillow. Then pray it works on you. Pray to the Holy Ghost! Oh, 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 Bruce! Oh, Coming! Get going, Clark! And remember, speak hoarsely! <laughs> like a frog ribbit. I'm so confused because you did a horse, but then a frog. <laughs> I'll, I'll try, Bruce, but something tells me when the bird's on the food. Coming! I'm coming! I quit your racket! Oh boy, if only this works. Taking a deep breath, Bruce Wayne opens the door and Perry White walks in, followed by Augustus McCosh, the oh, engineer of Atlantic Queen in Miss Lane. And before Wayne can say a word, White heads for Kent's bedroom, motioning for the engineer to follow. <coughs> Come in, gentlemen. Come in. Uh, fellas. There's my music. What will happen when Augustus McCosh faces Kent? Will he identify him as the mysterious Mr. Clark? And so reveal him as Superman? Join us next time to find out!